As butler at Highgrove, Prince Charles' private residence, Grant would oversee this kind of table preparation. Before work can start, each member of staff must don a pair of white gloves. The white gloves, obviously, it so we protect the silver and the glass when we don't get any marks because it's already probably been polished and cleaned. Yeah. We can always double check it, but normally it is already done by the time it comes to the room, and then all we have to do is actually put things down. Good. It's, it's quite good. I said, you don't want to do this because you look like a penguin. You always or... really should do that. Exactly. Yeah. And again, well, like can... a massive... Yeah. Or, uh... <laughs> yes, we don't do that. It's a bit too, you know, it's, it's not very good looking. Just For a gentleman, that. all we have to do is a, a neck bow. So, okay. very, very simple. None of have this easy. kind of thing. It's just always very, have it easy, very as simple. always. Brilliant. Lovely. We're here now. I can't see to say thank you. Thank <laughs> you very much. Thank you. you should be taking away from the restaurant, ideally, is, is the receipt, because you wouldn't be leaving and asking for the tables, the chairs, or the cutlery, or the glass. Right, I'm is... going to get you to ask for a doggy bag. Oh, God, Does really? It? Yes. Okay. Because this is fantastic. I'm, I'm, yeah, it's lovely. Is it, can we not, like... No, you need to ask. Sorry, sorry, are we all finished? Yes, that was delicious, it was wonderful. Um, is it, do you, is it possible to have a doggy bag? Jerry, it's really good. I'm actually a bit scared. I know. Now, I also noted that, uh, my lady, when you actually sat down, you could have sat down almost like sitting on a sack of potatoes. So if I oh. could actually demonstrate the fact that she's okay. Boy, okay. is that a compliment. But what, what, it's very simple. All you do, you walk up to the chair, yes. your calf just touch the back. Come to afternoon tea, it's not just about the food and drink. Other factors come into play, such as the perfect setting the perfect ambience, and of course, the wonderful service. Thank you. It was the worst cup of tea that I've had today, and as you can see from the selection in front of me, they do offer quite a few bits, but the finger sandwiches, well, it puts a whole new meaning into fingered sandwiches. So, to get our P's and Q's minded, We've come to meet Grant Harold. He's a master of etiquette. Grant, ah, how what do a, you do? What about you? Very good, well, very good. Yeah. Quite, how nice do you do? You. How do you do? Um, please have a seat. Um, what, what about you? Yeah. What, what does that mean? Is that is that that's like, sort of a... hello? Oh, hello. In Irish. Oh, that's lovely. Mm. You mm. have been a butler in the royal household mm. with Prince Charles. Do you get nervous? What's the etiquette? Did you have to bow? The etiquette, you're thinking, remember, don't extend my hand, wait for him to extend his hand. Remember, I've got to do a neck bow, not a waist bow, it's just for the neck. So there's all these things you're trying to remember, and but he was an absolute gentleman because he makes you feel very relaxed, very much at home. I remember meeting the Queen uh, for the first time, and she was lovely.